Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to add coin functionality or actually the cash functionality. So, what we will do in our game that uh, we will see, uh, say that if, for example, car reaches some point and uh, then we will get some cash. Okay. Uh, so, for that purpose, we will just go to level one and uh, here in level one. Uh, let's add some uh, for example kind here so for kind we can just uh, create a 3d object and we can add uh, a cylinder maybe okay and the cylinder is good thing and then we will focus on this we will make it sorry smaller like this this is our client okay it also has a capsule collider so, far, so first thing we will make it trigger so we want to uh, get it on trigger enter okay so also you can see its collider is too big so uh, which is good actually so uh, but if you need a little persist uh, persistency or a better uh, uh, thing you can delete it and you can add some box collider as well okay uh, that is will be in better shape i think so box collider so yeah that's you can see box collider is good so now uh, we will make a box collider is trigger and uh, also we will add some sprite to our client so let's add this one so now you can see we have dollars we can play with dollars now so that's nice so here we can just make it to uh, name cash for example or kind you can say uh, whatever you want and uh, for uh, UI we need some UI elements okay so before that I will just create a script here and this script will be player manager okay uh, this script we will add on player and uh, uh, because we uh, yeah we can add on player or any other game object it's not necessary so let's add it player manager like this and uh, open the script into visual studio so open it the first thing we will include is uh, here uh, the UI library so we will add using unity engine dot UI because we will use UI elements and then we will create some variables so the first variable will be public static int and we are using static because we can uh, we want to use this uh, integer again and again in other scripts as well so we will say number of cache maybe or you can add simple cache as well it's up to you whatever name you can assign and here we will say public text and uh, we will name it uh, uh, for example cache text like this okay so now in start function we will say that uh, the cache text is uh, equal to zero initially and uh, in update function we want to increase the y sorry number of cache number uh, what happened number of cache will be zero initially and then in update function what happen number of cache I don't know why this error is coming again we will number of cache is equal to zero yeah we are using two equal so it's only the one equal sign uh, then in update function we will say that uh, cache text dot text and
and we will say that uh, cache and we will say plus sorry where is plus and we will say number of cache okay this is simple you can use this or you can use some icon as well okay so i think we will add some icon so i will just add this sign and then little space and then let's see how it will look like so now we will uh, add a ui element so we also have rcc ca canvas uh, game ui the main ui so we can add uh, inside main ui as well so we will open the prefab and then we will add an element ui and i will just add a button for this purpose because we have one sprite here uh, for dollar so i'm just using the button sign and we can also use uh, image and then text it's up to you so anyhow i'm just using this dollar sign press f to focus and make it bigger we can move it to our desired area and the desired area will be yeah maybe this one the top uh, middle maybe so for top middle we can go here and then here okay so in game view you can see we can't see that thing why I don't know why this is happening in the other scene as well but this is some problem so we can just uh, delete it again I will just again add it UI button and let's see it in game view you can't see we can't see the game object and that is something related to this realistic game ui i think we have to add this inside some uh, subsections okay so maybe this is the problem so yeah let's find some subsection like uh, this dashboard maybe and uh, let's add ui and button it's also not visible so why it's not visible if it's not visible we can create some another ui for this okay so don't be worry okay so if it's creating problems we will create another ui and uh, we will create a button here and you can see that our button is here okay and now it's in game ui i don't know what what's going on here so i will just delete it again because it can create problem ui we will create another canvas we will create we, re we will rename it cache ui and inside this ui we will create a button uh, just go to ui we will create a button and for button sprite we will change the sprite we will make it uh, bigger so from scale we will make it two 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 like this okay so that's fine now we will just rename it to cache counter we'll just focus on this and here we can make it a little bit flat like this when we are happy with this then we can place it at our location so for example in the middle but it's i think it's too big so let's make it small yeah i think this size is good and we will definitely 
anchor it to top center and now we will just move it a little bit more and then we will remove the text or we can change the text actually we can I will just see that how text is looking and you can see it's a little bit stretched so make it like this and then we will just add zero zero for initial position make it to white and then we will move it to this side okay and also we will make it bold and we will make it 24 maybe our flow our flow one two three four okay so that's good i think and in game view it's looking nice so now what we will do we will okay what we will do so now we have the script and we will add the script on any uh, game object or we can create another game object as well so I will just add it on cache UI so let's add player manager so now you can see we have player manager here and we have to add this text field here in cache text okay so that's nice now the second step is to create cache uh, on trigger so here we will say cache and this is fine we can just open it this script actually open it so now this cache we will use on uh, the coin okay so the first thing we will create a public float public float rotation speed is equal to maybe maybe 40 and then we will go to we will come into uh, update function and we will say that uh, transform dot rotate transform dot rotate and we will say 0 x axis 0 y axis and uh, maybe uh, on z axis we will apply rotation speed multiply by time dot delta time time dot delta time like this so that's nice now we will also create a function public uh, actually white on trigger enter collider other and we will say that if other dot tag is equal to player I think we are using player tag or I don't know so buses let's select any bus yeah we are using player tag so that's fine so if the tag is player then we want to collect it so we will say player manager player manager dot mm, uh, number of cash plus plus okay or we can uh, say plus uh, 50 or plus uh, thousand or hundred whatever we want okay let's make it one thousand plus one thousand so now we will say uh, destroy game object okay we can't use this in this way so why number of cash is equal to and plus 1000 okay so this is the way okay so now what will happen when we collect 
the cash hopefully our cash will be uh, more and more so we will select the cash icon select it and add the script cash on this item and let's see what will happen so now if we play the game hopefully the coin will rotate and we will be able to select the coin so let's go I don't see we can't see the coin anyhow if you move to okay, here back view you can see the coin is moving and okay let's go to other camera so you can see coin is moving and if we select the coin here you can see the cash is zero if we select you can see we have got it thousand cash oh my god okay so that's a big amount so but i will just make it 100 okay for time because uh, we want to maintain ui uh, within ui we can want to maintain the numbers later on we will when we we'll accelerate uh, we will add the cash as well okay uh, add much more cash for this uh, action so that's it for this video we have successfully uh, created the coin uh, cash system next video we will move further